Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about finding elements using Cypress commands. But before that, let's see what is finding an element means and why do we even need to find an element. So if we consider a typical web application, it consists of buttons, input fields, drop downs, anchor tags, etc. Every web element will have either a class, ID, name, etc using which we can build a path and get the element reference. And once we get the element reference, we can then perform actions like click, type, selection from drop down, also to get its text or properties to validate further. Let's see what all the commands we have in Cypress to find the element. So the first one would be get which accepts CSS selector, jQuery, and returns one or more matching element. The next is contains, which accepts string, number, or selector and string combination, and returns the matching first element. So next is find, which accepts CSS selector or jQuery, returns matching one or more element, and this typically has to be chained with get or contains command because using find means we are going to find all the descendants and its children references. For this tutorial, we'll be using Lambda test playground e-commerce application, which look like this, and we are going to build our test to validate these menu items using get contains and find commands. Let's write our first Cypress test to access this lambda test playground application and find the menu item which is mega menu and also to trigger mouse over event. To identify the locator for this menu item, let's open the dev tools and inspect. As we can see, this is span element type and has class named title and also contains mega menu as inner text. Let's start writing our first test for this use case. So let's access the website first using cy.visit and the URL. So this will access the web application and now let's do the cy.get and as we know it's the span element and the class is title and it contains the text mega menu right so now let's save this and run this in the cypress test runner Let's run the Cypress test now. As we can see, the test is visiting the Lambda test playground application and it's able to get the menu item. If you hover on this, it highlights which element it's querying and we can see the mega menu. And now we have to write the test to trigger mouse over event. To trigger mouse over events, we can chain the command dot trigger. And if we type mouse, we get all the events related to mouse. So now what we need is mouse over. Let's add this and let's save this. And if I open back the trust runner, as we can see, it find the element and then it triggers the mouse over event because of that we can see the tray has been open upon hovering the mega menu item now let's write the test which shows how to use the contains query command of cypress Let's add the same command here, which visits the application and let's use the contents instead of get to access the same mega menu element. So 
as we as we discuss the contains accepts a selector and the text the selector contains we can pass that so the first parameter will be our selector which is span dot title and the second parameter is our text so now if, if we write again the trigger chain command and mouse over and save this and open the test tunnel as we can see the contains also find the element first and then it looks for the text containing within that element and then performs the mouse over right now let's see how we can use the find command let's consider the use case where we need to click on this blog link okay and if you have open the dev tools and inspect the element what you can see is we have div which contains ul and within the ul we have all the allies right so for the div we have id we can use this and we can use the class name of ul so once that is done then we can use the find to find all the or the required li element and the anchor tag and then click on the respective blog in this case what we need is if you open the third li we can see that it has class title and uh, inner text as blog so now let's write a test for this where we access the application and click on the blog and uh, using find query let's write the test for validating the find query command okay so let's copy paste this and uh, let's get the ul element first because inside our ul we have allies so this is the div id and this is the ul and inside this ul we have find which is the li item and which contains text called block and then we need to click on this element if i save this and open the cypress test runner great all our test passed and the find one so first it got the ul element and then it find the child which is blog and clicked on it and it navigated to the page 